So today we're doing a small little review of this 1200 watt power jack retire inverter. I'm not a qualified person to do this type of review, so take it with a grain of salt. But this is the inverter guts. We have a fuse here, and that fuse looks like it's only for this output. And that's to the wall. It's also got an outlet. And as far as I can tell, this outlet is not fused that I can see. Maybe it's fused in the board somewhere. I don't know. Um, but anyways, it's not connected to the same fuse. <coughs> From watching uh, Nero Nard's uh, videos, I know when you buy these cheap inverters, the first thing you do is you open them up. Just like I did these. These are, uh, they're advertised for 300 watts. They're really 200 watt inverters. Um, you can tell by the components inside. They'll do a little over 200 watts, but they won't do three. And I'm just doing a comparison <coughs> to, <coughs> this is a 200 watt inverter, inverter advertises three guts. You can see the caps, the transformers, and all these things. Um, and I'm just doing a comparison to this one so you can see the difference here. So this one's got two very small transformers. And one of these, I'm sure, is equal to at least those two over there. And it's got four transformers. And it's got these rather large MOSFETs. And uh, on both sides. And then they got these really small ones here. But here's what I don't like. Right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. See this cross member here is bent. Leaving a little gap right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I need some better lighting. But anyways, you'll have to trust me. So this one's not properly heat synced. That's a failure point. Um, what else here? This has, it looks like it's a temperature monitoring device right here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And it runs all the way to this board here. So I think that's what that is. But there, maybe you can see it's bent better now. Anyways, <laughs> just put a little spacer in here to hold this one on. I'm going to be taking this off, bending it back, and uh, putting it in properly so it's not all bent. Uh, the rest of these seem to be heat sink just fine. I've already run this thing at 600 watts. It was putting out over 600 watts actually. The input I'm sure was higher than that, but uh, it's not perfect uh, efficiency. <coughs> it's got a choke on the output, which is uh, actually slightly impressive. Or actually, no, that's not a choke. What is this? It's some electronic. I thought that was a choke. Maybe it's an electronic choke. I've never seen that. They run, maybe there's uh, coils running through here to make a uh, like a magnet. I think that's what it is. I've never seen that before. Maybe that's cheaper than uh, than using a, a magnet itself or whatever those things are. Neat. <coughs> and uh, I'll be uh, putting an oscilloscope on this to see how uh, clean it is. Let's see the main board. Oh yeah, another thing. Just little things showing that it's cheap. Look at this cap. It's just ripped. The insulation's ripped off. <coughs> it's 100 volt, 220. Uh, it's fused at 20, uh, 40 amps, but this is a 28 volt to 48 volt grid tie inverter. So that's actually fairly high fused. Um, what else here? Just trying to show some differences here. Anyways, I'm going to skip to the next phase of this simple review. 
I already went over this a little bit more. Started like checking components like that is pretty big. Should be glued down around the center. They did that on some components. Like this is pretty solid. Pretty solid. 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 These are super loose, man. All these. And then I started going to these ones. Loose, loose, loose. And then these two. Look at these two. Just wire it out of the way. If I move the one, why does the other one move? I'm wondering if the rail on the bottom side is broken off the board that these are attached to and they're uh, moving together. So I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to glue around all these bottoms just to hold them better. And I'm going to do a few components like over here. That one's not glued down at all but it is fairly sec well secured, it seems anyways. And it's weird to see that there is boards stacked on top of boards here, like this is a separate board screwed to this board. <clears throat> Interesting construction. Uh, this thing's on top of there. Yeah, hope this thing lasts me a little while. This thing cost me $280 shipped to my house, which isn't bad for a 1200 watt grid tie inverter that can for sure do 600. I had that going through it already. I am pretty confident it can do at least 800. That'd be 200 each. Pretty sure it can easily do that. Um, yeah. So first impressions on this thing. Works well. Came in. Fairly cheaply made. Uh, I bent this back, I kind of bent it the other way a little bit, and that gets this nice and tight there. It's just a transistor or something like that, I'm not sure what those are. They only have two uh, leads coming out of them. These other ones, these big ones, these are, I'm pretty sure these are the MOSFETs, these have uh, three. Same with these here. There's quite a few of those. <clears throat> so yeah, get at it. The, mo the closer I look at this thing, the more I see wrong with it. But I mean, it works. So, and it was cheap. It can't be that bad, right? So, anyways, they have this uh, resistor and MOSFET in the middle of the board right there. Apparently it gets hot because they put this heat sink around it. But the heat sink was shorting some components out over here. You can see, right? Between there, there is a diode that goes to that uh, little transformer. And I guess the diode was shorting on this uh, heat sink. And so they put duct tape on it. That stuff is duct tape and it went wrapped around this whole thing. I was looking at it and I'm like, well how the heck is that supposed to cool if it's got duct tape surrounding all the perforated parts of this aluminum cooler. So I cut the sides off. Hopefully get some sort of cooling now <laughs> it's just funny stuff like that looks like uh, there is an option for uh, another nice big capacitor right there I might add one later see if that helps any performance um, everything else seems alright boards pretty stinking dirty Uh, it's just funny stuff like, uh, see that uh, resistor has a resistor stacked on top in parallel, a small one on top to get what they wanted. It's kind of funny. Stuff I haven't seen before. Not too sure if it's uncommon or super sloppy, but uh, that's this inverter. Hopefully it lasts a while. If it lasts uh, a year and a half, it'll pay for itself. Uh, any longer than that, money in my pocket. So, hopefully at least last that. I'm hoping to get at least five or six years of it. I doubt it, but uh, if it did, that'd be awesome. All right, thanks for watching. All right, I just finished doing my gluing job. 
Let's see if we can focus there. Let's see that. Now, they don't move at all. These ones don't move at all. They don't move individually. Nothing, so that's good. I put some glue around the bottoms of this. It won't, it'll help just a little bit. Same with this one. Put a little bit more on this one and this one. I put uh, duct tape on the top of this so it doesn't ground on the top of the uh, punched out steel or sheet metal or whatever it is. Put some on the speed capacitor. Um, just little things like that. Uh, and I'm going to put it back together because the sun's coming out a little bit. I want to get some power into the house. Okay. And here it is in action. Hooked back up. She says that's what's going into the grid 319 watts. It shows a little high. This is saying 273. Uh, let's see if the amps are the same. Two point three amps. This one is saying two point seven. Two point eight now. This one says two point four. So it shoots a little high. They probably set it that way, so you think you're getting a little more than what you are. Which is fine, as long as you know. So I'm not actually getting 388. I'm really getting, oh, let's go to watts here. 340, 42, 4350, oh, whatever. I zoomed in here, sorry guys. Not sure when exactly I did that. Okay, there we go. We were at 342, 344 a second ago. 312, 340, so that is the difference there. All in all, I really like this thing. At 600 watts, the MOSFETs on the side do get warm. <coughs> uh, continuous. Oh, here we go. We got a sunny break. Let's see what we can get up to here. This is 407. 423. What's down here, Sam? 357, 340. Okay. <coughs> and that's our. It's not sunny, but uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like outside. Got my Jeep apart here. Got the engine out. I'll show you guys. Ran out of the oil or something, I don't know, I bought it off a guy, seized up. But this is what it's like out here. Got my heads in the ground. And, this is quickly just show you guys. And there's the pieces of the rods and stuff that exploded once the engine seized and that guy tried to keep going. Yeah. Keep oil in your engine. <coughs> so. Once again, we're at 390, 454, 491, we're up to 422 here. So, all in all, so far, I do like it for the price. I don't think you can do much better for 1200 watts, $280 shipped to your door. I think I got it for... 240 plus $40 shipping or something like that and taxes and duty and all that good stuff and that's my small review thanks for watching and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video thanks so it got sunnier out I just want to show you what this thing can do it's not 100% sunny but it's pretty sunny. And this thing says 583. That's pretty sunny out. Putting 535, 40 almost. There's 541. And this says 584. 
this side, like I said, this has this must be the input because this side cool all the way down. This side warm. It's not hot. It's warm. Fans are not on. And right on this one right here. Uh, no, this one right here. This is where the temperature uh, sensor is on. This screw here, and. That is the warmest part of this inverter. So, that's a good thing. At least it is something right on the temperature monitoring, I believe, on this thing. We'll find out. But, it seems to be working just fine. Oh, going behind a cloud. And we're dropping. Yep. And the sun's going back out. We're climbing again. Not the sunniest of days. That thing has hit on the monitor on there. It said well over 600. And down there was right around 600 watts. And I just wanted to share that with you guys.